So here we are in the dispatcher workspace and we can see I've only assigned work to a few technicians so you can follow along better. Now one of my technicians, Ray Williams, has only two tasks assigned and Ray has started travel early in support of his first task. So I receive a notification of that update. Of course, I can determine what notifications I want the dispatcher to see as well as what to record against the task table. So I'm slowing this all down so you see the message before any further automation. However, you'll soon see the task get updated on the workspace, turning it yellow to denote he started travel, and it also adjusted to correspond with the early start. But one more thing, it also automatically shifted the next task left and a new task, a third task, has been inserted into the schedule because now there's more time available in Ray's work date because of that early start. And we can now see his home travel time. This task is appropriate to be added because overtime is approved for Ray. Now let's move on to Teddy Taylor's schedule. We can see that Teddy has not yet started travel and the dispatcher is alerted to the fact that he's late. So we have rules to say when we should adjust based on a technician being late. For example, if a technician's more than 30 minutes late, adjust the schedule. But once Teddy starts travel, we receive a notification, the task gets adjusted on the dispatcher workspace, and the subsequent task shifts left to be in line. Note there's no task available to fill the gap at the end of Teddy's day. Now I'd like to share how we do this. The rules are run via Flow Designer, and we've created three flows for Utah. First is Agent Time Off Created, then Agent Not Taking Action, and then Work Order Task Progressed. Each has different flows and actions and notifications, so let's look at Work Order Task Progressed. If the agent starts travel early, we do a scheduled status check, we take actions, we create notifications. Maybe we run task recommendations engine. Maybe we shift task left and more. And similarly, if they start travel late based on the company's designed intervals, you can take other actions. Here you can even see the subflows for task left adjustment. To start, the system first shifts the tasks left. Then it runs the assignment recommendations engine and then sends a UI notification again these are the ones that are out of the box, but each organization can define their own intraday flows.